Pi Day is coming up and you need some activities for kids or students of any ages. Math related, of course. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. It's time for Tip Tuesdays with Dr. Shanna Grant. So we're going to dive into five activities that you can do to celebrate Pi Day. Of course, Pi is usually referred to as the irrational number 3.14. And so, of course, we celebrate Pi Day on March 14th, which is 314, uh, the day of the year. And so here are a few activities that you can use to celebrate Pi Day in the classroom or at home for kids of any age. So the first activity is the reciting game. Who can recite the most digits in the number Pi? Of course, Pi is um, an infinite number and there are lots of digits. And so whoever can remember the most digits in the number Pi correctly would win that activity. The second activity, of course, Pi, math, and a song all together is a pie song. Um, who can come up with the coolest hip pie song? So we can know the facts about pie um, to describe what is pie and what it's used for, whatever they can do. But you can have your students to come up with the best pie song and then have them recite it in class. And the third activity is you can have your students engage in pie themed games and quizzes. And so a few games could be, let's say, um, a pie themed trivia where the questions are only related to pie or pie suruku where you could have the numbers or the digits for pie on the suruku board and the students will have to rearrange those in the correct order. Or you can do pie pong where the paddle would be like the pie symbol and you can bounce the ball with pie. <laughs> the fourth activity, of course, this is my favorite. You can have your students to bake a pie and depending on where you are, you can also have them to bring the pie. And this is really cool, especially for any age because you can really do a lot when the pies come in, right? Um, if you bake the pie or if the pies are there, you can do measurements of the diameter and then you can calculate using pie the circumference or the area of the pie, right? And those type of things, who has the biggest circumference or who has the biggest area of pie and those type of things. And of course, after that, you can eat the pie. Who doesn't want to eat pie on pie day? <laughs> and last but not least, we can have a pie themed party. And this party could include all that was discussed, right? So you can have games where people are, or your students are memorizing or recite in as many pi digits. You can have the same um, at this party. You can have the different games. You can have all that was mentioned and just have a big pi day party where people are dressed in pi attire with pie hats and all these fun stuff. So pi day mathematics, make sure you take advantage of all of these activities and enjoy pi day.